Hello everyone, this is Sylvain from CyberName and welcoming you to another um, tutorial video. This is about customer login dashboard at CyberName. Okay, what you do is you uh, go on the internet, find CyberName.com, click there and you will end up on this page. And on this page at the very top that I have highlighted in blue is a customer login button or a link and you click on that. Now, using the email address that you registered your domain name, add that email address, the same one, and also the password that you used when you registered a domain name with us. Okay, remember, if you forget your password, you click on this link here, and you will be given another uh, password, and you can do this as often as you need to. Hopefully not often, but that's up to you. You click on Login. Here we go. This is the dashboard, okay? At the very top, you'll see here, it says, My Account and Services. Remember that when you finish um, managing your domains and services on the dashboard to log out, I've highlighted it in light blue on top here, to click the, light, the log out button. Okay, the three gray boxes that you see here on top, let's talk about them briefly. Your client ID, no need to remember it. Uh, it's a good reference if ever you need it, okay? These three regarding your account are the uh, three most uh, frequently used services in the dashboard. The first is earn referral commissions with our client referral agent program. Um, if you want more details on that, click on that. So let's just click on it for the heck of it. And here you go. And you will see more information on that program. Now, request support is the next one. Here we go. Uh, if you request support 24-7, you will have it. You will be responded to. Uh, CyberName, uh, at support at CyberName.com is one way, a common way that people reach us. But you click on this button here and you will be able to fill out a form uh, that will get you immediate attention. Also, you can also click on the orange um, banners to the right and to the left of the screen and you can interact with us live, look at tutorials or have express support. Okay, the third one, recent orders to pay. Self-obvious. Uh, now the next one is very important, domain names and services. Okay, here you have a list of your domains. Okay, and you have here you have a list of services right here. So you have domains and services. Okay, let's click on domains, very important. Now here, we only have one domain in this list. This list can run on. You could have a hundred domains going all the way, scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Okay, now it tells you your domain, this particular domain here, it's the due date is here. The status is right here. It's active and it's the auto renew is set off. That means I didn't put a credit card uh, information for it to be auto renewed next year when the expiration date comes around. Now, you click on that and you can change that immediately. Now, click on his new domain and see what happens here. Now, for each domain that you click on in that list, uh, here is a page that lists a number of domain-related services that you can add to that dom domain, okay? Um, you could add, change the name servers. You can change your contact details in case you move. And you can also forward a domain to another domain. Here, at the left, you will see all the other services that you can add related to a particular domain. You can have DNS management. You can add Canadian hosting, reseller hosting. That's how CyberName got started. Email accounts. You can add as many email accounts as you want to. Website builder, when you're ready for that. Or if you're not ready for that, custom website design, which we can something we can help you with search engine optimization, which we enjoy doing, and also servers, uh, different servers and SSL certificates, which we can sell you. Also, US and UK hosting for uh, lower prices. Okay, and that was that particular page. Let's go to the other page. So that was this here. Now, uh, third gray box is online messages and this would contain information about interesting articles we came up with, interesting news or very useful news, practical news, and also uh, important alerts regarding security. Okay, down to account management. Here you can 
access your profile, change the information, your address, that kind of thing. Change your uh, password as often as you need to. Now, this is like the cyber name bank, this one here, Commission and Fund Transactions. This will give you an account balance of all the earned referral commissions you have and other sources of revenue that we have access uh, for all of our customers. Okay, now history of your past orders. This will give you a log of all the orders you've placed with CyberName and you can click on the receipt and print them and from the very, very beginning and it's always available. Your domain and services, okay, right here. This first selection here, pre-authorized payment options. Um, you can pre-authorize using credit card information uh, payments for renewals of domains and services, okay? And it could be um, individually, okay, like each domain would have you know, different uh, payment options, or it could all be the same. You could all renew at the same time. That's up to you, okay? Then you have a list of your domain and services. Okay, further below, we have the agent program that we talked about briefly, and this is access to the agent area. And here, under here, is domain backorder, where if you absolutely want to register a domain name that someone's dropped and you believe has value for either because of all the backlinks to it and all the credible history it has, this is where you can backorder a domain name. Off to the next uh, column here, Website Builder Access Point. Okay, here is where you select a domain, a particular domain in your collection, if you have several, and you click the Start button and you start building a website on that domain. Uh, if the domain becomes very popular, you may want to upgrade features uh, about that uh, website or hosting and so on. Okay, the next column we have Add New Services. Here we go add new services. Here you have some of the more popular services that we have to offer and um, you can click on these and just add them to your account. So uh, that's it for the dashboard for now. Remember to log out. I'll go on the top here. Log out when you finish uh, managing your domain, managing your services, checking your accounts and printing your receipts, doing whatever you have to do. So log out. Remember, here you can click on 24-7 support or you can go here and contact us live at customer support if you have any questions or if you have any issues or recommendations on how we can improve our services for everyone. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you next time.